Right, if there's ever a city where you needed a map tour, it's Los Angeles. It's sprawling. I've been told there's over 400 neighborhoods. It's not like New York or Chicago where there's a lot of identity. It's kind of like just a lot of suburbs put together. And the more that the population grew, the more outward we got. So today, I'm gonna to kind of show you Los Angeles, where you should live depending on where you work or maybe what business you're in or if you're retiring or a young professional, where on earth should you live in Los Angeles? Let's get right to it, shall we? All right, first of all, as you can see, LA is massive. LA County, 4,000 square miles. Orange County, 950. There's 10 million people that live in LA County. Uh, but today I'm gonna do Los Angeles because that's where most of the people live. I think about 4 million of the 10. So, you work in Beverly Hills, you work in West Hollywood, you work in Burbank, maybe you're in the entertainment industry, the Disney studios in Burbank, or you work in the movies in Beverly Hills or West Hollywood. Where are the best places to live? There's a lot of people, you know, who live up in Woodland Hills and work in these area. They kind of drive down here. The traffic's not too bad. They live in large homes, but they're a lot cheaper than if you lived in Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, Westwood, for example. Also, you know a place I really love? If you do work in any of these areas, check out Sherman Oaks. A lot of rock stars, movie stars, this is where they live. It's really up and coming. A lot of nice homes now, a lot of new shops and restaurants. It's always been great. It's just improved a lot. And if you need to get down here, look, it's not too bad on the 405. Also, a lot of people might work in Burbank at the studios. If you work in Burbank, you can pretty much live Glendale, Pasadena, the trendy Los Feliz and Silver Lake, um, even West Hollywood, to be honest. So if you do work in Burbank, this opens up a lot of areas for you to live in. And to be honest, if you work in Burbank, you might as well live in Burbank. It's a really, really nice place to live. Now, maybe you're a young professional, you're moving to LA, you're under 35. Where do all the cool kids live? Well, if you're kind of hip and trend, well, not necessarily hip, but if you're cool, you know, you're going there for the, uh, for the movie business or modeling, check out Santa Monica and Venice. It's obviously right by the beach. A lot of people, if they're moving to LA, California, why not be by the beach, right? And Santa Monica, it's kind of its own bubble. Everyone loves it. Obviously a lot of tourists. And if you, if you live in Santa Monica, you can work in Beverly Hills, you can work in West Hollywood, you can work in Culver City. And if you work in Santa Monica, obviously a lot of jobs there, you can live in Culver City, you can live in Century City, really cool spots. Westwood as well, where the university is, it's very young, great uh, walkability. And if you have a higher budget, Brentwood. I really, really love Brentwood. You're gonna need four or five million dollars to live there, but it's a really great spot. And uh, once again, if you live in Brentwood, you've got all these places to work in. It's a really, really good area. Also, the other area, if you're young and hip, you, uh, you wanna live on the west side by the beach, you live in Santa Monica. However, if you wanna live on the east side, um, you're hipsters, you've got the tattoos, the mustaches, you love your cocktails, check out Los Feliz, check out Silver Lake. Really great places to live. Obviously, you've got Griffith Park for the Heidek hiking. You've got Hollywood Bowl, Bowl close by for the concerts. And uh, Hollywood, not far as well, away as well either. Plus, though, if you want the big homes, maybe you want to be out of the hustle and bustle. You don't want to live in L.A. where it's really, really busy, but you want a nice house. You've got a huge budget, $10 million. You want some big homes, lost feelers has you covered. It's a really, really great spot to live, to be honest. Whether you're just starting out with no money or you're retiring or you're in your 40s with a lot of money, check out Los Feliz. I lived there for 10 years. I really, really love it. Now, maybe Los Feliz is a little bit too expensive for you now, Los Feliz and Silver Lake. 
check out Eagle Rock. Check out Highland Park. Um, they're kind of subsidiaries now of these areas. They're a little bit cheaper. Prices have gone up. But uh, yeah, once again, these areas here, really, really cool. Um, and if you want the bigger homes, neighborhoods, houses that are 100 years old with a lot of character, check out Pasadena and South Pasadena. You're getting some massive, massive homes. Good schools as well. Yes, you're a long way from this area. So if you work anywhere around here, you're not living in Pasadena. But if you work in downtown Los Angeles, you can live in Pasadena. You can live in Glendale. You could even live in Burbank as a push. Um, and obviously anywhere around here as well. Um, downtown LA, obviously a lot of condo living. Um, it's about as much of a city vibe as you're going to get living in Los Angeles. You've got the um, public transport and also the walkability. Um, downtown, it's come a long way. Is it safe? It's not the safest downtown by any means, but um, I like it. And I, and I think you will too. And also you might listen, you might have heard about South Bay. What is South Bay? Why does everyone keep talking about the South Bay? Where is it? Well, the South Bay is also by the beach, and it's Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, and Torrance Beach. This area here, price is very expensive. Manhattan Beach average price is about two and a half million, really. Hermosa Beach, a little bit cheaper, and then Redondo Beach, a little bit cheaper as well. But you still need about $1.5 million to move into these neighborhoods. Torrance, really, really good. Good schools. Um, Torrance is pretty large, lots of jobs there as well. The location of Torrance is pretty good. If you work in Torrance, for example, you can live in any of these areas, if you ask me, and you can get there pretty easily, um, maybe even a little bit higher. So um, check out Torrance. It's got great schools, and just because it's a Torrance address, the prices of the homes are a lot less than this neighborhood here. I really do like Torrance as a place to live. Also, if you're looking for some land, you want to buy some nice houses, your budget's around two to three million, check out Palace Verde Estates. You want to own some horses, check out Rolling Hill Estates. Now, if you go further south, obviously you've got ocean views, homes are large, but you're kind of in the middle of the nowhere. Good luck going up into LA on a regular basis. It's just a bit of a trek. But if you work up in LA and you just wanna be a little bit out of dodge, not necessarily wanting the LA vibe, check out Rancho Palos Verde, Palos Verde Estates and Rolling Hills. I really love it. I love the trails and it's just a great place to live. And to be honest, if I had a choice of where I could live right now, I think it would be somewhere around here um, now if I if I zoom in a little bit as well if you do live in these areas you've got um, the Hollywood Riviera and there's just so many good restaurants um, a lot of bars there's a lot going on for your kids all this area around here to be honest I really really love it so if you are looking to move to South Bay you just can't go wrong. If you live anywhere in here and you've got the Riviera Village with all the cool bars and the trendiness, I just think it's a great spot and uh, you've got to check it out. Los Angeles, really, it's a tale of north, south, east and west. There is a lot going on. Public transport, oi, it's not great, to be honest. Obviously, you've got the metro systems up in Hollywood. I took Long Beach to Hollywood once on the metro just to see what it was like. I did a video on it if you want to watch. It took me close to two hours. It was pretty easy. I think it was just one stop. but um, And I know you can do it in about an hour and 45 minutes. Long Beach all the way up to here. But are you going to want to do that on a regular basis? Probably not. Most people in LA drive. It's not like New York, Paris, London. Uh, Boston even, where you have a great public transport system. If you're coming to LA, be prepared to sit in your car. And if you're like, well, I wanna live close to LAX, I'm gonna be doing lots of traveling. Here it is. 
So if you live in Santa Monica, if you live in Manhattan Beach, anywhere really around here, LAX airport is very, very easy to get to. Now, there's also a little secret hidden gem, and that is Burbank Airport, right here. Now, it doesn't do a huge array of international, but if you're driving, uh, if you're flying within America, Burbank Airport, check it out, really easy to get to, uh, no matter where you live, kind of in this area, and if you can travel to Burbank Airport, it makes sense. It's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful airport. And the same with Long Beach, another hidden gem of an airport right here, Long Beach Airport. Uh, I've used it several times. It's so easy to get in and out. So there's so many airports we can fly from. Obviously, LAX, the international airport, but you've also got Long Beach. You've also got Burbank. There's even a small airport in Torrance as well. I think it's right here. So when it comes to flying, LA's got you covered. Now, if you just want the Hollywood lifestyle, you're coming to LA to live in LA, to live in Hollywood. If you ask me, these are the places that you should check out. Culver City, not too far from Santa Monica, just a bit more affordable, some great walkability, some great restaurants and bars. Obviously, Santa Monica, we've mentioned Santa Monica. It's a good place to live. Yes, there's homelessness, but there's still a great vibe. Also, check out Westwood. UCLA here, obviously the university, so there's a lot of bars, restaurants, walkability, young crowd. It's just a good way of life. Also, Century City, probably my favorite shopping mall in the whole of Los Angeles. My girlfriend used to live in Century City. She talks really highly of it. I think it's a great place. Then you've got Beverly Hills. Obviously, who doesn't want to live in Beverly Hills? And West Hollywood right here. Um, a lot of hustle and bustle. Obviously, a large gay community uh, in West Hollywood. You're right by the Sunset Strip, all the famous bars, restaurants, music venues. And then Hollywood, um, you know, when you think of Hollywood, you think of the glitz and the glam. To be honest, when they show Hollywood on TV, they're really showing Beverly Hills. <laughs> Hollywood needs a lot of work. Um, it's a little bit of a dump, if you ask me. They are going to be spending money on it. But yeah, if you're looking to move into LA, you want the Hollywood lifestyle. If you ask me, this is probably the areas you want to be living in, um, somewhere around here. Um, a lot to choose from, a lot of condo living, a lot of rentals, um, but a lot of different prices as well. Okay, let's talk about areas to stay away. I often get people send me a home and they're like, Matt, this home's only $800,000 in Los Angeles. We're gonna buy it, it's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, it's $800,000 for a reason, trust me. So. You know, I don't, I don't want to say this is all terrible and everywhere here is gross and you should never live here. But stereotypically, if you're asking someone in Los Angeles the areas to potentially stay away from, now Inglewood's come a long way, so I'm not even going to put Inglewood on there. You might have heard the rap songs about Inglewood, the hood, Inglewood now, SoFi Stadium, a lot of money being pumped in. However, I would probably stay away South Los Angeles, and I'm gonna get in a lot of crap for this probably, but you know, this area right here, unless you just wanna to move to LA, you've got a very low budget, you wanna buy, I would just stay away from here. You know, Paramount's come a long way, I don't mind Paramount, uh, Bellflower as well, and even Gardein or Hawthorne, Lawndale, they're really, really popular areas right now. Right near the expensive South Bay, Manhattan Beach and Hermosa. So Lawndale, Hawthorne, Gardena, El Segundo, a lot of tech companies going in. So if you want to work in these high tech industries and live and not pay so much rent, check these areas out. But yeah, when it comes to areas to maybe stay away from South Central, all this area right here. And I apologize if you live here and love it. Oh, there's a casino right there. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you ask me, this is the no-nos right now. Are they gonna gentrify? Yes. Could you buy a place 
and um, make money on it in 10 years? Yes. Should you buy and live there right now? Probably not. And if you're looking to move to LA, you've got a $3 million plus budget. Five million would be awesome if you wanna live in these amazing neighborhoods. If I had three to five million dollars to spend, where am I living? I'm gonna try out Sherman Oaks. Three million dollars, you can get a beautiful house. The same with Studio City. And guess what? Down these freeways, easily accessible into LA. Three to five million dollars, I'm also looking at the Pacific Palisades. I'm looking at Brentwood. I'm looking at Beverly Hills. I'm looking at Westwood. I'm looking at Bel Air. And I'm looking at Santa Monica. And if you go further down, I'm also looking at Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach. And if you want some land, I'm looking Palos Verde Estates, Rolling Hill Estates. If you've got the budget and you can live pretty much anywhere you want, these have to be the areas. Palos Verde, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Santa Monica, and then, like I said, Beverly Hills, Pacific Palisades, Brentwood, Sherman Oaks, and Studio City. Oh, and Los Feliz as well. I've always got to add Los Feliz has a little place in my heart forever. In case you're wondering, I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. I made the move from England. So if you are looking to move from another state or even from another continent, give me a call. I did it and I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you at my next video.